Nitney, 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 Nitney. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nitney Draws. I'm Nitney, and I'm going to be going through sketchbook number five today. My dog is in the background, and he is making a heck of a lot of noise, but I can't let him out of my sight today because he's on medication, and I can't let him out of my sight in case he has a negative reaction. So he's going to be back there chewing on his little bone, and hopefully he'll be quiet. All right, so let's get started. This first picture here on the top was a commission that I did through DeviantArt, and it was two OCs from this character. It was a yaoi commission, and I mean, it's really chill. It's just two dudes hugging, so nothing too crazy. This is Sailor Moon. Well, I guess it's Usagi, because she's not actually wearing any of her Sailor Scout outfit, but... She's cute. I, I apparently went back to this dark outline here. This is a piece that I've thought about coming back to a few times on a redraw. Um, I have plans of doing some redraw uh, videos later, and this is one of the ones that I've wanted to do. It never really got to where I wanted her to be. She was supposed to be an android, and there's supposed to be a lot more detail, and her hair was supposed to be everywhere, and I just kind of didn't do any of that. So I'm going to redo this one for sure. This is a little drawing of Lynn, that OC from the first couple of videos. Um, I was practicing drawing chibis. I still am awful at drawing chibis, but this was a pretty, pretty good try, I guess. Her anatomy is a little weird. Her arm is definitely too long. This was just a cute little doodle that I had started it was supposed to be for my Gaia commissions page so that I could edit it and make it look pretty and have, you know, hopefully draw in more people to come and visit. I never actually finished it, but it was a good start. I wanted to do something to utilize watercolor and I was terrible with watercolor. I'm still kind of terrible at watercolor, but at the time I had never used watercolor consistently at all and I was about to start the dryad, which was completely done in watercolors and watercolor crayons. And I really wanted to practice a little bit before I got started with her. <laughs> these are cute little sketches I did. I these, All this stuff was done on printer paper when I was in class and I would cut out whatever little bits didn't work with whatever it was I was doing. So I would do things and then chop it apart and then keep only the part that I liked instead of keeping all of the junk too, which in hindsight is probably a bad idea, but at the time it worked really well because I only ever saw the stuff I loved. This is a drawing I did of my goldfish turned into a human. I had a huge, huge aquarium in my bedroom when I was a kid and I had a bunch of different types of fish, but my goldfish were my favorite because they were so silly looking. And I had a bunch of them and they all came from the same little grouping. So I refer to them as brothers and sisters. And Jethro was the gigantic one that would run into the side of the tank all the time. He was really big and really dumb and really, really cute. This was my Gaia avatar and the next one is also my Gaia avatar. And I'm still really, really, really proud of the hands in this picture. They're awesome. And the feet aren't too bad either. Um, and the character, I still have this character on Gaia. He was a demon character and I, I did a lot of role playing in the forums with him and I really love him. Thank you, big sigh from Wally. This is another, that other one of the same character. I never got around to coloring this, and I don't know why, because this picture turned out fantastic. Um, fairy's rule, right at the, there on the top. This is my first time I think I really saw a major improvement in my inking style as well. The inking has a little bit more consistency in the line weight, and it's got heavier lines in areas where there would be shadow. And I think this is the first time I've seen that for myself. I did this piece in science class. 
um, inside one of my sketchbooks for art class and that I tore apart because there weren't a whole lot of pictures in there that I wanted to keep. And this is my best friend, Brittany, and I'm Brittany, so we were both Brittany's. And um, <laughs> so we were best friends in high school and we had a lot of really bad classes together. And one of those terrible classes was biology. And we spent a lot of our time in biology class drawing pictures of each other, drawing chibis, um, talking about Lolita fashion, talking about Gaia, that sort of thing. This character is the Queen of Hearts. She was supposed to be like for a deck of cards, Queen of Hearts. And I have a few little sketches throughout of what I wanted to do a whole series of. So you'll see those in a few minutes here. This is another picture of Denison, that boyfriend that I had. And he had, he had pointed ears, which is why I always drew him as an elf. And he had really long hair. So we would put his hair in pigtails, we'd braid it, we would, we did all sorts of crazy things. And I know it annoyed him, but he slept a lot. So we tended to do it when he was asleep and then he'd wake up and be like, what in the world? And this is a drawing of exactly that. He went to sleep, we did his hair and pigtails, he woke up and was like, hey, why? This is a fan art I did of Squall Leonhardt from Final Fantasy VIII, which is my very favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. It was also the very first PlayStation game that I ever owned. My parents bought me a PlayStation after I was at my friend's house for the weekend and we'd played PlayStation all weekend long and I came home and I really, really wanted to play this game. And I started crying because I had wanted to finish playing this game and we didn't have any kind of new generation. It was new generation at the time. Uh, video game consoles. The only console that I had was a uh, Super Nintendo. And it, I mean, the, the PlayStation had been released quite some time before that, but we were a little late on the uptake with that. And I loved Final Fantasy VIII. We played this game for hours. It was kind of ridiculous. This is Fukue, that same character from the very first sketchbook. I've had him consistently for at least 15 years now. He's been in and out of my drawings. He was the boyfriend slash husband of Kogeru, um, who was the fire-based guy that I had, and he was supposed to be air-based. I'm not sure why he's covered in red and has red on the outside of him, because he's supposed to be air, but he has fire. This was a drawing I did of a guy who I met in Ann Arbor and he was riding the bus with me and he was just really adorable. So I wanted to draw him and I did. And it took me apparently three hours to do this because I wrote it down there in the corner that it took three hours to do this. This is a drawing I did of Denison and I. We both had fun colored hair at the time. It looks like I was practicing with shading. I was definitely trialing doing a background here. This is that uh, Queen of Hearts character again. She's going to show up a couple of times. She never actually got finished, but I was going to do a set of 52 cards and she was going to be one of them. This is another one of my fish. His name was Casper and he was an all white goldfish and all white goldfish are pretty rare. And he was one of my favorites. He was very sweet. He would go up and he, he would like play up at the top of the tank and he would take food out of my hand. So I really liked him. I don't remember what this one's name was anymore, but this is another one of my goldfish turned people. And he had passed away. And that's why, hence the angel wings. And he was half black and half white. And I thought that was really cool, the way that he was marked. And he was obsessed with the, the what do you call it? Like the thermometer. He would go over and just like, like kiss the thermometer all day long. He wouldn't, he would leave it alone. He, he, he wouldn't even like go get food when everybody else would go get food. He would just play with the thermometer. It was really weird. I also did a good job with shading on this one. This was another Gaia commission. This is LLBLKT. 
It kind of looks like Little Black Cat to me, but I'm not sure for sure that that's what they wanted their name to be, but that's what I associate it with. Um, and I, I think this one did really well. Um, the anatomy is a little bit looser. The hands are a little better. Um, her feet just kind of look like blobs, but I mean, all in all, she's pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this video here since I'm already at 10 minutes, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for coming by, for checking out my videos, for liking, subscribing, and commenting. I absolutely adore every single one of you who comments and, and subscribes and follows and watches because this is my dream, you know? I, I want to be an artist for the rest of my life. I want to get enough done online that I'm able to afford to live my life with just doing art and not waiting on tables anymore and this is how I'm gonna do it and I really really appreciate all of your support thank you so much if you loved what you saw please go ahead and like and subscribe and shoot me a message go on my Instagram um, I'm always updating on Instagram I've got pictures at least once a day sometimes multiple times per day all right, guys, I will see you next time in the next video.